Hello everyone, welcome to Sai Is. In this video, I am going to take up the new chapter of class 9 and the name of the chapter is Structure of the Atom. We have read in the previous chapters that matter is made up of atoms or molecules. And one matter that is different from another due to the different atoms present in it. Okay. So, Dalton, he gave his theory that is Dalton's atomic theory and he gave the definition of an atom as atom is smallest indivisible particle. Okay, so later on it was proved that atom is divisible and it has subatomic particles present in it. And these particles are positively charged protons, negatively charged electrons and neutral neutron. So in the first topic, we will study about the charged particles in the matter. That how the scientists, they discovered these subatomic particles, what experiments they performed to discover these particles. The name of the particles I have told you as proton, electron and neutron. Now next thing is, next topic is Thomson's model of an atom. J.J. Thomson contributed a lot. He told us about the electrons. Okay, electrons that negatively charge electrons, they are present in an atom. And he compared the structure of atom with the Christmas pudding or watermelon. The red part of the watermelon which is in the form of the sphere, he considered it to be positively charged and the seeds embedded in it, he compared with the electrons, negatively charged electrons and he told that atom as a whole is neutral. Okay, we will study in detail about the Thomson's model. Now next is Rutherford's model of an atom. There were some drawbacks in Thomson's model of an atom. So Rutherford, he performed an experiment that is scattering of alpha particles by gold foil and he told that the positively charged mass that is concentrated in the center of an atom. Okay, positively charged mass means protons, they are present in the center of an atom. But still there were some discrepancies or you can say drawbacks in it and he also told that in atom there is large empty spaces also. Okay. Now next comes the Bohr's model of an atom. Bohr told, Bohr discovered that electrons they revolve in the definite paths known as the orbits or the shells. Okay. Electrons they revolve in these shells according to 2n square rule. Okay, that we will study in detail. And here he told that electrons they revolve and they do not fall, they do not lose the radiations while they are revolving. Next is 
how are these electrons distributed in different orbits that's a very interesting and important part of the chapter here i will describe from atom 1 that is hydrogen element hydrogen up to the element calcium with atomic number 20 okay so you are to memorize the elements from hydrogen to calcium that is atomic number 1 to 20 and we will draw the structure of these atoms okay the that how the distribution of the electrons takes place in the first shell maximum number of the electrons and the second and the third and so on so we will study we will draw various structures in this topic now next is the valency it is the very important term valency is the combining capacity of an atom you are to memorize the valency also of some important elements because in the formation of the molecule these valences they play a very important role now next topic is atomic number and mass number that what are atomic number and mass number atomic number that is the number of the protons or the number of the electrons present in the neutral atom and what is mass number mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom okay so you are to memorize the atomic numbers of the elements hydrogen to calcium and mass number also okay now next topic is isotopes and isobars what are isotopes very interesting and important also hydrogen has three isotopes okay hydrogen has three isotopes in which it has that is i will name them protium deuterium and tritium in all these three isotopes hydrogen has atomic number 1 but the mass number that is different in all these three i will take up another other examples also now next is isobar it is just the reverse of the isotope here the atomic mass is same but atomic number that is different okay atomic mass is same but atomic number is different we will compare argon and calcium here okay so in my next video i will take up the topic charged particles in the matter till then thank you very much